Hello True Believer, today we're going to keep going for tutorial number 2, part 5. So we're going to build a little castle here. So uh, the first step that we're going to do is just um, basically learning how to group objects and how to combine them, duplicate them, but more importantly how to also use the little line tool at the top here. Okay, so if we click start, the first step they want to want us to make is the little tower. So we're going to put the cylinder down, um, raise him up, so increase the scale, not the translation. So that goes up the top there. And I'm going to place a little clone, clone on the top. Now, the simple way of doing this is you, we can cheat, we can use the work plane. Or not, no, let's not do that. Let's just do the normal. And then we translate that up. Move it across. So I'm just using little arrows and look at the bottom down here, see how it's lined up. And then place them down. So we've got our little tower sort of built now. Okay, so now we're going to select the both objects and we're going to align them. So you could move it around and keep fiddling it like I was just doing there. But then that's the whole point of the align tool. So instead of doing that, what we can do is go here, go up to the align tool. And if we click on that black dot there, and that black dot there, it perfectly aligns. Now, if we wanted to keep the cylinder centered, that's another little trick is you click there. We click the align tool and we click on the bottom one first. Then we click on each of these objects, which looks like they've been pretty much aligned. Awesome. So that's that step done. The next step is then we're going to place a block in, box in for the wall. So we put the box. Now you can keep, go through here and scale it on here, or we can come back up here and follow what the instructions say. So we want it to be 20 mil tall, which is the height, um, 60 mil long. So that's the length. So we change that to 60 and we want the width to be four. So we go here and go four and then enter now they want you to drag it so that this is in the center of the tower so we're going to click and drag this across and then notice how that's sort of extruded out so we want to basically align it and adjust it in the center so we've placed it in the center first but we want the wall to be inside of it so we want to select both the tower and the wall so we'll go through and select both of them or you can press Control a and then we're going to go to the adjust. Now, like I showed you before, when we, we use the alignment tool, if we click on the tower first, um, it will then now put everything relative to the tower. Okay, so now we go to the next step. What we're looking to do is to gray out that little bit there. So if we go select all, go align, and we want to align it so that the tower is with inside of it, like so. So now that that wall is super clean, it's inside the tower and it's from the very center. Okay. So then the next step, so that's basically what they're talking about there with tangents on tangents. So um, basically we've placed the side of the wall inside of it. And you can click on all these different options to sort of shift it around. Um, the alignment tool is very powerful to making sure that everything's all sort of lined up. So the next step is then we're going to duplicate and um, we're going to place, I'm going to hold shift in both of those, press control D and then there's a duplicate of the tower and we've pasted it. So we've built um, a second tower. We're now going to shift that across to the other side like so. And notice that it's not quite with inside of it. So we want to align this again. Um, so there's a couple of different ways. You can either... Whoop, just shift it across that way. That's the easiest way probably. Um, or we can come back up to the align tool. So if we go to the align... Oops, sorry, escape. We'll select all those and we'll go to align and we click on that 
we've now made that nicely aligned. And well, we we'll probably need to do that back on this side as well. Like so. Cool. That's all now nicely aligned. Um, so we want some taller towers. So the next step is that we click on the top here. Now, if you click and drag like I just did there, it only moves it across in the X and Y, doesn't it? So if we want to move it up, we click on there, click on the up arrow, like so. And then we also want to change the height here. So we're going to move this guy up. So now we've got the taller towers. Um, we now then want to copy that wall and place it on this side. So if you press there, control D, move it across, and then we're going to rotate it 90 degrees. Like so. And then we place him in the edge there. Again, we want to probably align this. So if we align this here, I've just used shift click and clicked on all the different objects inside there. And we go to the align tool, click on the tower. Of course. And then we go align. It's not quite doing what I want it to do. If we hold that and we go align. Oh, because it was already perfectly aligned. Okay, I see. So if we click that, shift click, align. And then that's aligned it. No, we want that not to move. So we want shift click, align, click the align, click on the cylinder. Now if I click on that, there we go. So it's moved it back. So just to reiterate what I just did there, um, if we want this to align to that, we click on the original shape, click on the cylinder, we go to the align tool, right? We then click on the thing that we wanted to align it relative to, so then it will lock into that and not move it everything, it will move everything else relative to that. And if we click on that little dot, there she goes, so she's alone. Okay, so then we want to do exactly the same on the other side. So I'm just going to cheat, I'm going to press Alt and drag. So that's been placed. Um, you could have also followed the instructions here where you do Control D and place it across. And then the next step is they want you to group all these objects on this side. So all I'm going to do is click Shift and group it. And we've made that object. So now um, they want you to uh, place that on the other side. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold Alt, drag this across, try and keep it all aligned as possible. And we're going to use the flip tool. So if we go flip or M, and then we've got these different axes that we can flip it on. Now, if you highlight these black arrows, it will show you basically what it will flip it like. So we want to do that one because it's going to eventually go there. But just so that you can see what it looks like when it does the mural, right? It, it shows you. So if we click on that one, we now have the box all done on the other side. Excellent. So now we've got that. Um, everything should be aligned with each other, which it looks pretty darn good. Um, just to confirm, 
We'll press that, shift, go to the align tool. Click on that so that it doesn't move. Now let's go again. So we click there, shift, click there, align, click on this object, and then click on there. So this stayed locked and then that moved relative to that. It looks like our side, this side's come across. So again, easy fix with that. If we want this to be locked now, shift, click there, go to the align tool, click on that, click on there. And there she goes, she's been aligned back into the shape. Okay, so that's all been aligned all up. So now we've got the power of the delete. So select the towers and we want to ungroup them. So we go ungroup. And now we've got back to the original shape colors. And what they want to do now is then delete all the cones at the top. So if we click on each alone, delete, 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 delete. The next step is then we're going to have a look at the work plane. So the work plane tool allows you to shift the work plane up. So if you click up here on the work plane on the top, it's now made a work plane across the top of these towers at the top here. Okay. And what they want you now to do is build a little polygon battle station at the top. Now this isn't quite aligned, but that's okay. Um, we'll make do with where we are at. So we'll go down to polygon. And we place it on the top of that uh, cylinder there. Now we want to make sure that's all nicely aligned. So I'm going to click on shift click on both of these. Go to the align tool. Click on the bottom one. So then that doesn't move. And then move that around. So now that's perfectly aligned. Perfect. So now we want that to be 26 mil. So hold shift. Sorry, Alt, that's what we want. So there's 26. And we want it to be high as five. Fantastic. So there's our little polygon at the top there. So now they want you to drag a cylinder in the center um, to put a hole in the middle. So we're gonna put the drag of the center and its diameter needs to be, what was it, 16. So I'm holding down shift just to drag this down. 16. And then now to make sure that that's nicely aligned, I hold shift. And then see how it's a bit more complex. So I press shift and click on that polygon. Now I go to the align tool. I lock that side in. And now if I come up here, click on those dots. I've perfectly aligned that cylinder in the middle there. So basically what, um, to reiterate those steps, we've, we've made our polygon perfectly match, um, matching the top. We pull out our cylinder and because we're working on that work plane, we don't have to worry too much about shifting stuff around. Um, I then scale the, the cylinder. So straight away, I've clicked up the top here, hold down shift until it was 16. So the hole's still there. And now I'm going to basically make sure that, that that's aligned with the cylinder. So I hold that, press, um, press shift and click and see how it's got the little blue aura around it. All right, and then we go back to our alignment tool and we click on the center of each of these. If I clicked on that one, it would shift it all the way over to the far um, left of it and the far right. So we want it to be centered and perfectly aligned. Now that's all done, um, we probably need to group it. Yeah, so let's let's group that. So now I've made the, that little battle front. And then if I want to copy and paste that across, instead of pressing Control D, I'm going to cheat again. I'm going to press Alt and drag that across. So it's perfectly aligned. And now um, to make sure that, that that's aligned, if I hold Shift and click, go align. I want to go relative to that. So I click on the cylinder down the bottom. And center. Perfectly aligned. 
Awesome. So that's all sort of done there. So I've placed that onto a new work plane. So we've copied the um, onto the other tower. Now we need to move the work plane on top of the taller towers. Okay, so how we're going to do that is we go work plane, click on the outside just to get rid of the work plane that we currently got. Go work plane again, click on the top. And now the work plane should be just above there. Okay, so now if I go copy, paste, it's placed it underneath. But what we can do is move it across and then move it up so that it's on zero. So we've we've calculated that it's, it's above zero. So see how it's zero on that work plane. That's what that measurement there means. And now we go through the same process of aligning. So we hold that, press shift, click, align. Um, we want to align it to the cylinder so we don't want that to move. And we click on the center, click on the center. That's been put perfectly. We're then going to um, alt drag across like so. And just to align it again, um, oh, that's selected. Press shift, select on the bottom there, go align. Um, and we want to do it relative to the cylinder. So click there. Whoop. We got a line relative to that. That's looking pretty good. So our work plan's now done. So now you've basically built the the, the simple um, area around the castle. You click work plan, get rid of that, and then there's our castle ready to go. Um, one of the next steps that they want you to do is put a little hole in the front for the, the castle entrance. So just bring a box out like that. Um, scale it down. And you can group it. So there's my little hole for the gate entrance. And then they want you to put a bit of text on. So if you go text, we'll call it Hendos because that's what's awesome. Um, and then we want this text to fit on it. So let's change the color first of all and make sure it sort of stands out. We'll go in awesome green. And we want to rotate it. There we go. No degrees. We'll scale that down. So I'll just hold shift to keep everything all in proportion. Place it underneath. And there we go. So we've got Hendo's little castle sort of built, which is pretty cool. Um, that's pretty much it. So now you can go through, um, once you've built it, you can actually go off and export it and print it. So if you have a 3D printer at your school, you go up here to export, click on export. Um, we want to do the STL file. So you click on STL, that will download. And then you basically upload that um, new file into your printer and off you'll go. Awesome, happy designing. See you in the next tutorial.